Hey, differential equation students. We're going to be finding an inverse Laplace transform of this function, but we're going to be doing it somewhat differently today. Instead of using partial fractions, we're going to use the convolution integral that's discussed in section 6.6. .6. So let's talk about the steps on how we do this. To start, our focus is rewriting h of s, and we want to rewrite it in such a way so that this looks like the product of two things that show up on our table. So two things that are easy to take the inverse Laplace transform of. So I'm going to write this as 1 over s minus 2 times 2 over s squared plus 4. Because I know how to take the inverse Laplace transform of the first term and of the second term. And in particular, if I look at these things and I say, all right, this is going to be my capital F of S. That's going to be my capital G of S. Then I can also figure out what my F of T and my G of T are. So if that's my capital F of S, then it's pretty clear that the inverse Laplace transform of this is E to the 2T. So I can undo this portion. And my g of t, well, that's exactly what I get when I am taking the Laplace transform of sine. In fact, in this case, sine of 2t. OK, so now what we want to do is we want to find the inverse Laplace transform of the product. So what we're doing is we're looking for h of t. Now, if you don't already know the convolution integral, open your book to page 346, page 346, because here's the integral. It's the integral from 0 to t of f of t minus tau times g of tau d tau. There's nothing special about tau here. It's just another variable that we're integrating with respect to. But let's write out what that's going to look like. In our example, we're going to have the integral from 0 to t of, we're going to put all this stuff into f, so we're going to have e to the twice t minus tau times g of tau. That is sine of 2 tau d tau. And if I can evaluate this integral, I can find h of t. All right, let's call up maple. So what I'm trying to do here is an integral from 0 to t. Oh, what the heck, let's make that really big. And the first thing we want is we want that exponential term e to the power of t minus tau, should be fine just to spell that in maple, times sine of twice tau. And you have to remember that that's what we're integrating with respect to. So I need a tau here. Go, maple, go. Go, maple, go. Go, maple, go. Come on, maple. Yay! All right. That's the inverse Laplace transform. So that's what we know h of t is equal to. Oh, do I have room? No, I don't, but we can write it up here. So what we got when we went through this process was, whoops, let's move up here, 1 fourth e to the 2t minus 1 fourth cosine of 2t minus 1 fourth sine of 2t. Let's check that real quick. All right, we can't check that. Never mind. That's what our answer is. So this is the process that we use. We take our, what we're trying to take the inverse Laplace transform of, we break it into a product, we find the inverse Laplace transform of each part of the product, and then we put it into the convolution integral. We're going to be doing some more work like this in class on Friday.